Okay, tip of the day today is uh, the importance of training both sides in everything you do. My wife's doing funny things behind the camera and making me giggle now. Um, right, so yeah, the importance of training uh, your left side effectively. As you may have noticed in the demo that I just did, I did all of those things on the reverse side to the, to the normal side that you would uh, see on videos and, and so on. Um, all, most of, not all, but most of the Taiji forms are right side dominant. The Bagua forms are not, the Bagua forms are always done left and right. And it's impossible to complete the Bagua form because all the Bagua forms, for example, you do one side of a section and then you do that whole section on the reverse side before you move on to section two. Whereas in the Taiji forms, they're all designed that you have to do the whole form and then go back to the start and do the whole form on the reverse side. So it's very important to do that. Um, Yang Yu Chan's form, very right side dominant. Yang Chi Fu's form, incredibly right side dominant. Um, small San Sao. Small San Sao is fairly balanced in that yes, you do that movement and then you do that movement. Similar postures, they're still different though. The movement here is a very different action of the body at the advanced levels comparatively to this action because this movement is a much more horizontal movement, this is a much more vertical movement. So they are different postures even though it's a back fist with that hand and a back fist with that hand. The small sand sow is fairly well balanced though up until the last section when we get up to the single whip section. The single whip section of course is all done one side. Which side? The right side. So it's very important, of course, up until there, that section particularly to do on the reverse side. I recommend though just do the whole form on the reverse side. You do it once through and then just start the other way. It's not that difficult to do. And it's important to do quite early on in your training because the longer you wait, the longer you do something on one side, the more confusing it will be to switch to the other side. My father always agreed uh, with me on that sense that you should always practice things on both sides. It's always good to balance out your body. Um, <clears throat> for physical reasons, obviously. For, and, and if your physical body is not balanced, then your internal energy is not going to be balanced. So both physical and internal, it's incredibly important. Um, there's so many postures, for instance, in Yang Chan's form, where we do brush knee twist step the left leg up nine times, whereas with the right leg up, we only do it four times. And you might think that another posture might balance that out. Maybe there's another posture which is like brush knee twist step, which lifts the leg, which balances out the right side in this case. Um, but it's not. So I've gone through and calculated every single posture, not just the postures, but I've looked at what muscles are being used in that posture. Is there another posture which balances out that muscle group and so on? And I've written an article on it. I wrote it quite a while ago, but it's on the website. I'll put the uh, link in the description here on this video so you can have a look. So if you're interested in that, to see why you should be practicing all of our forms on the reverse side, have a look at that article um, and then that'll, that'll actually give you all the nitty gritty details as you go through. Um, there are a lot of people out there who uh, are against doing your tragic forms on the reverse side. They're coming up with these ridiculous excuses like that it will imbalance your energy and the chi flow will stagnate if you do it left side and all this ridiculous stuff. Um, there's no truth in that whatsoever. So my father, for example, always did a lot of, not every single form, but he did do a lot of his taiji forms on the reverse side in his own training. He never got any stagnated chi in his body. I've always practiced my forms on both sides, and many other senior instructors have always practiced both sides. And it just makes logical sense. If you do any exercise, you lift your leg 10 times on that leg and only 5 times on that leg, it's going to make an imbalance in your body. So always very, very, very good to practice both sides. So that's the tip of the day. Um, yeah, not much else I can say. As I say, have a look at the article because there's no point in me rambling on to give you every single little detail here. Have a look at the article because that explains everything. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, let, let me know in the comments and we'll see how we go. Thanks.